Hi, my name is Kelsey. I'm a multimodality healer and a master aromatherapist and teacher. And today I'm going to talk through five different essential oils that have come forward to help us when we feel that we're lost and perhaps we don't have any, any options in front of us, or perhaps we have one or two or several. And we're just like, what, which way do we go? What do we do? Um, who are the people that we need to reach out to, to help or work with us when we're trying to accomplish something? Um, or not. Maybe the answer is meditate, that hermit card of retreat, and just really be still and rest. <laughs> um, and so I always drop in and I ask the plant spirits to come forward for who wants to share their messages for this particular intention. And the first one that came forward is lime. Uh, this beautiful essential oil is they're all medicinal grade. This one is from Mexico. And this is one of the first essential oils <laughs> that I started working with. So it always makes me very happy and fills my heart when she comes forward as she's very dear to me. Um, so Lime is really about clarity, clarity of purpose. Um, she helps us to see that the glass is half full. Um, and, and she always reminds me of um, that Lord of the Rings. When you think all hope is lost, there's still that light. Um, so she's just full of joy. She helps to lift our spirits. Um, she's also great for um, parasites, digestion, worms, and pH balances. So she's great. I'll put a drop of her in my glass of water and sip on her throughout the day. Um, and she's just so joyful and happy. I feel like uh, her spirit is constantly dancing. Um, so if you need help just figuring out, cleansing, clearing, that channels the the channels to receive that clarity that you need and direction and purpose of how to move forward she is amazing um so it, she's also a little bit skin sensitive for some people so if you're in your warmer climates or a lot of sunshine uh, just don't spend too much time in the sun with her i would put her in places um in those situations that aren't going to receive sunlight and um, so maybe you you'll, you'll keep your stomach covered bottom of the feet are always great too um so that's lime and number two to come for now this is rhododendron um there's a lot of different rhododendron species i'm in scotland right now where the rhododendron poticum is perceived as quite toxic and an invasive species in scotland um but this one comes from nepal it's a uh, rhododendron anthropo i'm gonna butcher it anthropogon <laughs> i'm not very good with scientific names it's something that i'm learning and I'm very excited about. So rhododendron anthropogon. Um, and she is a white flower from Nepal and she is about finding your spiritual family. So if you need clarity about perhaps you you need to make a move in your life, you're feeling the call to change your environment, change spaces. Um, uh, she's also really great for finding your new spiritual family. So whether that's uh, humans, or there are more than human kins, it's about creating a new community. So perhaps, again, maybe you need to get rid of those toxic relationships in your life that are impeding your clarity, impeding you from growing and expanding as the evolution of your soul needs to. And she's really about making that clear. Okay, what are the next steps for you in that? What kind of changes and, and moves do you need to make in your life? And, and more importantly, what kind of people are you trying to call in to be in your community, in your circle? So rhododendron, she's amazing. Really, really great. She actually helped me find Fintorn. I'm in the uh, Fintorn Spiritual Eco Village right now in Northeast Scotland. And it's just a wonderful community that I'm so blessed to be a part of. So thank you to rhododendron. <laughs> and third, we have cumin black. So this is the cumin seed, uh, the black one. Um, and she is amazing about um, cleansing and clearing toxins and free radicals in our systems. She's highly antiviral, bacterial, fungal. So a lot of times when we're not feeling well, then we're not receiving the messages very clearly. Um, I even experience this too when I have a cold or a flu or I'm just feeling off. I have muscle pains or something like that. Um, the messages aren't as clear. I have to strive a little bit harder to receive them. So she's really great about 
helping us to remove any kind of physical and psycho-spiritual ailments that are impeding us. So getting rid of lower vibrations across the board. Um, so she's really great. Uh, she's a very cool yin essence. So you, again, you can put her anywhere on your body. I like to put her on my gut because a lot of times our immune system can be associated with our gut biomes. And she's also great. I'll put a teaspoon of her in hot water to make a tea and I'll sip on her. Uh, so black cumin, really, really great. And fourth, we have blue yarrow. <laughs> Again, one of my favorites. Um, so blue yarrow, a flowering top flower, a uh, little beautiful clusters of flowers. Um, and she's really great about helping us to see our Achilles heel. Meaning, what are the, the habits? What are the addictions that we need to get rid of in our life? What are the, the things that um, perhaps used to work for us and then we need to let go or we need to reevaluate? Um, so, for example, coffee is something in my life that um, I go on a roller coaster with. There are some times in my life where mm, I can't have coffee and other times where, yeah, I can have some of her for the morning and then let it go, but it's not every day. Um, <clears throat> so blue yarrow is really great to help us to see clearly, um, how, how, how can we do better in our lives? How can, how can we create this channel? How can we make this channel even clearer, even crystal clear? And, and to, to view things not as black and white, but to really tune in each and every moment. Okay. What is good for us? What do we need? Not what science or what other people uh, are telling us to do or what works for them, right? But what works for us in this moment? And everybody's completely different. So how can we tune into our own uniqueness of what is good for us? Um, and she's also really great for tuning into the angelic realm. So receiving guidance from our higher selves and the angel beings as well. And last but not least, we have Helichrysum. Now, on the label on this bottle, she says she's the eternity diva, and it's so true. She is really great. Um, you might see her a lot in skincare uh, products. So she's, she was hailed by the ancient Greeks and Romans for being the, um, for beauty, um, anti-wrinkle cream, for wounds, um, any kind of skin ailments. Um, she's also really great for cleansing and clearing the pineal gland. Uh, so again, opening up this access and channel that we have to our higher selves and great spirit and all that is, uh, and seeing things in, not in the confines of time and space. So eternity, right? That if you think of the, the, uh, infinity eight, right? And, I, and in scientific or mathematical terms, I always think of fractals that we are just this tiny piece that is part of this big fractal, but it's a loop. So how can we see the bigger picture? How can we get it out of our own way in terms of seeing this moment in ourselves as this little tiny piece and zoom out? Um, and also within that, accessing the great eternity, we're not alone. So if we feel like we need a leg up, we need some help, <laughs> how can we access this whole entire picture of all that is to help us on our purpose and our way and, and yeah, really experiencing profound love and kindness and bliss in this life. So that is Helly Chrism. She's incredibly powerful. So if you need any help picking out essential oils, uh, you can schedule a free 15 minute Zoom consultation with me. Uh, you can email me, my link is below. And if you want to purchase any of these oils, I sell them on my website. So you can click on the link below again <laughs> and explore. Um, so thank you so much and sending you so many blessings. Thank you.